Hey, what's up guys? Mule Skull here. Welcome back to Starbound, episode 3. When we left off, we uh, started making our way down through the planet to get some core fragments. Um, yeah, we found this uh, interesting little... Uh, looks like a way down that someone built. I think we're going to go down and investigate. What is that? I saw that thing move, but I wasn't sure what it was. Looks like just a little creature. A little frog or something. Didn't give us any meat. So that's okay. So yeah, we're going to get down here. Uh, see if we can find some way to get down to core fragments. That would be nice. Alright, um, let's see. I kind of want to get crafting some torches real quick. I think 10 was a good number, because it gives us 40 torches when we do 10, so... So that's a good, good square number, so we aren't overusing our coal and everything. Alright, what do we got down here? Looks like a... F is that a fossil? Hmm. Alright, well, let's mine some stuff while we're getting down there. Uh, hopefully we can get down to core fragments today. I really, really want to get down there and start progressing faster. Um, if you don't know, our current quest is core fragments. Um, to fix our ship. Because our ship doesn't fly right now. Or no, no. It's to um, uh, get that ancient portal thing going on or something. Alright, uh, let's shine a light down here. hear anything. I think we're pretty safe. Ooh, core fragments. Bingo. Yeah, I think we're gonna get those today. Unless something big comes and kill me, kills me or something. Hmm. Ah, they're just bones. That's pretty cool, though. We weren't in there before, so... A little bit of copper. What's this thing? Oh, I don't know. Weird. I don't see anything, uh... That thing's probably murder time. Yep. It's coming to get us. Doesn't look very friendly. Okay, we're good. Ooh, gold. So yeah, let's get down here and get this stuff. Seriously, right? Quit stalling, Muley. Let's do something today. Speaking of today, how is everybody? I'm doing good. Um... Kind of had a lazy day, sitting around, relaxing with the baby. Had some uh, family pop in from uh, a good eight-hour drive away. They just came up to do some fishing and decided to stop in and say hi. And yeah, it was all right. Good visit. I'm always happy to see people. <laughs> you know, stay-at-home dad and all. I don't really get out much. Um... It's kind of why you guys are so important, really, because you're kind of my lifeline, like, to the outside world sometimes. Sometimes I can go weeks without getting out of the house. I mean, I've been pretty fortunate to get out lately, but, um, but yeah, some days I'm just like, oh, I need to get on YouTube and I need to talk to you guys. But yeah, it was a pretty relaxed day. Core fragment. These are useful objects. Uh, something, something. Oh, I estimate that you will require at least 20 of them. Yeah, I figured. Oh, look at me dancing. Here, just good to... I guess that happens when you're too close. Matter manipulator dance? Oh, I'm not doing it now. Oh, cool. We like uh, discovering things like that. Let's take a look around, too. Oh, I see more over there. I see more over there, too. Hmm. 
Okay, cool. I see some over here too. This looks a little different. Nope. Okay. Let's get up here. Let's go to the left. Let's see if we can uh, discover something. Maybe a chest. That would be cool. Or a ruin. I love discovering new things like that. And it's one of those things. What do you attack with? You just come into here. Yep, you just hug me. Not gonna happen, buddy. This thing, what is it? Hmm. Don't know. Kind of gathering some metal while I go, too. It's not a bad idea to pick up some stuff, unless it kills me, because I'm not eating. Um. <laughs> Let's eat some canned food. Seems to do pretty good for us. to stand. A leg to stand on, right? Got some slime blocks going on. Should grab this gold, because um, past experience says I'll need gold someday. I see something move at the bottom of the screen just a second ago. Hmm. Something over there. Ah, right, here we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Core fragments, Muley. Should be getting close, shouldn't I? Doesn't show a progress bar. Well, it shows a progress bar, just not a numerical value. Um, would it be here? Yeah, 18. Cool, we need two more. I think I'm gonna grab a few extra. I hope they're something you need in the future now. Because, I mean, before it was just this one quest, so... Uh, use the core fragments to activate the gate. And that is a compass, because it's pointing out now. So that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a few more. Just in case. Can't hurt. I mean, if they go into a chest and never get touched again, like what usually happens with me, then no harm, no foul, right? bit of iron stuff like that but we'll get after that stuff here later I'm kind of focused on uh, getting this I should grab this iron because it's right here and yeah we'll make our way back to the top and get this uh, gate figured out there we are I'm going to try not to use so many of those. I want these. For some reason, I just feel like they'll be important, maybe. There we go. Let's climb on up there, Muley. Okay. So, yeah, we got this little thing here. kind of like it. Do I learn recipes from getting these things? No. What about these things? Is this just... Yeah, it's just timber. Okay. Go fight this guy. Oh, your butt! Oh, my butt kicked. Should I grab this iron too? I feel like I haven't gotten enough. Sixty-nine. Yeah, I should probably grab it. It's in mud too, so it shouldn't be that much of a dig. Come on now. Be 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Give me. Okay, cool. So we have everything for a furnace and what I believe would be an anvil. I see you. Which way did I come from? Oh, how could I forget, right? <laughs> Last episode, we also got buried alive. Um, pretty action-packed, if I do say so myself. <gasps> oh god, here we go. <gasps> Man, this guy's good. Go, Muley! Should I grab some of these? I don't know if I need to. Hmm. A little bit of silver here. I don't know how I missed that. I guess I could just do this. I figured I'd grab bones, but then I was like, eh, I better not. <laughs> I'm, I haven't had good experience with them so far. Okay, that works, I guess. Oh, I guess we weren't that far down, I don't think. I had a good angle here. Ready? Ready? There we go. Okay, and this is where I came down, if I remember correctly. Messing around. Let's heal up. Okay, here we go. Just gonna kind of hang out here. Oh, don't see me. Okay, here we go. Oh, poop. Just trying to hide from this guy a little bit. I don't know how this is physically possible, but okay. Okay, well, a fight avoided is a fight won. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't know how I'm... I guess it's not as long as I hope it would be the rope. Here we go. I'll throw it up there. There we go. That's better. Good job, Muley. Yeah, look at you learning stuff. Zubat. No. I can't pick it up anyway. Just gonna pick up water for some reason. Have it, I guess. Alright, Zubat didn't see us, so. Kinda wanna fight him, though. Beautiful. I do have these wood platforms. Oh man, I didn't prepare this at all, did I? Easy right here. Boop. There we go. I guess material conscious is the right word, right? We're almost out of here. I could probably break the back wall and get out, but that seems like a cheap way to do it right now. Well, no, because then I could I'd teleport to the ship, not to the gate, so I guess it is smart to get out of here the right way. Come and get me, punk. Okay, I can't jump, apparently. Jeez, die. Jump! Jump! Oh my gosh, I hit the wall and it stops you. Rather than, like, uh, slide, you know? Like, slide against it. Here we are, guys. Let's figure this gate out. Let's get a good view here. Here we go. Activate. Whoa! You appear to have successfully activated the gate, and it seems another message is coming through. 
Please come, I urgently require help. The universe depends on it. Use this ancient gateway and meet me in the Ark Ruins just past the outpost. Okay, so am I gonna go here? Alright, we better be prepared. Oh, look at this. Infinity Mart. What do I need? Uh, 50 health over one second. Holy moly. I'm curious about bandages, so I'm buying one just to just to see how they work now. You ready? Whoa. Instant heal. All of humanity scattered across the universe. What do we do? Oh, look at this. Double A battery. There's some new stuff in here. I kind of like it. Oh, canned food. Fib 200 pixels. I don't even know how much I have. 536. No way I'm buying that. I need to cook some food is what I need to do. All right then. Cool. Uh, we can craft more salve over here too because... Oh, I can only make 10. I'll make 5. Because I don't want to use all of my... Uh plant fiber, you never know. All thorns should hunt and seek glory. Hello. Greetings. I hope this day finds you well. Fellow survivor, you wouldn't happen to know any scientists or something uh, who could assist me with my research. Oh, look at this. Terran marks to, uh, closed down. This is cool. There's some new stuff around here. That room looks different. That looks different. <laughs> okay. Man, this place is just in shambles. I love it. Oh, hey. A few auto chips so you can polish out those unsightly something something. I don't have any vehicles to repair. Auto chips. Oh, yeah, we can buy vehicles. What are you doing? Sorry, pal. The captain sees me talking instead of working. Uh, something something. Okay. Oh, look at this. It doesn't just end. Alright, where are we? It's a spooky place, isn't it? Better be on our guard, though. We don't know what exactly we're uh, going for over here, or who called us. A big leg. Is it you, Frieza? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Hello, dear. Is that a matter manipulator you are carrying? Excellent, so you're a protector. I'm sorry to say, perhaps the last after the the terrible destruction of Earth. I'm the last protector. Sadly inevitable that we should meet now. My name is Esther. Esther Bright. Esther Bright. <laughs> Retired Grand Protector. I left some years ago. An impossible uh, decision. But my research could not be neglected. I discovered things long forgotten that weigh heavy on the present. Long ago, there was a force known as the Cultivator. It maintained balance in the universe. Under its influence, harmony reigned, so it was for aeons. Eons? Aeons? <laughs> but this tranquility proved uh, finite. A being arose, one of hate and destruction. It was the Ruin. The Ruin could not abide life in any form and reaped destruction upon the universe. It fought to blot out all life and would have succeeded but for the sacrifice of the cultivator. The cultivator rose against the ruin and succeeded in sealing it away. But in doing so, the cultivator exhausted its power completely. 
Before its last energies dissipated, the Cultivator gifted six chosen races with precious artifacts. These six artifacts, when united, form the key that opens the gate to the ruin. <clears throat> the defenses are crumbling. We must unite the artifacts, reach the ruin, and truly destroy them. This is a lot to take in, dear, and a huge request to make of you, but I would like your help. The artifacts are scattered across the stars. I can't find them alone. We must find them and eradicate the ruin before other planets go the way of the Earth. Alright. Uh, Esther? I'm gonna call her Esther because Esther sounds kind of <laughs> strange to me. Oh, okay. There's the storybook. Man, I want to see that statue again. That was pretty cool. I just don't... I'm just not... I can't see that far. Okay, Esther, hold on. I'm gonna eat this entire can of food in front of you. Actually, no, I'm gonna have... I'm gonna eat a steak in front of you. And then I'm gonna eat some rice. And then we can talk again. Thank you for joining my joining me, dear. With your help, I know we can triumph. Okay. Would you give me a pineapple? Oh no, reward bag. So what does this do? Uh, use... Use this to open it and reveal its contents. How exciting. Manipulator module. Woohoo! Okay, Esther. First thing first, or first thing first though, dear. You need a ship in good working order. Who knows how far you will have to travel before we're done. I think you should return to the outpost and speak to Penguin Pete, the shipyard captain. Okay, let's go talk to Penguin Pete. Nice meeting you, Esther. Um, if you don't mind though, I think I'm just going to take off, it's getting pretty warm in here, so I'm going to have to take this off and just get into my regular, you know what, Esther, I'm, I'm not the protector you think you know, okay, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just some guy running around in his underwear, okay. The flashlight. And some rope. That wouldn't look weird. Some naked guy running around with some moonwalking with some rope. Oh, Penguin Pete. Is this you, Pink? You're not a penguin. Uh, hello, sir. I can repair that ship, but it's gonna take you take 20 Arceus crystals. You better get yourself over to the Arceus mining facility. I've sent the location coordinates to your ship's sail. Uh, I've received something something. Uh, what did he say? Doopy 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 doop. Ah, just. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. Okay, um, we'll accept that. Alright. Oh, good talk, man. Good talk. Wee. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's get serious again, Lily. Jeez. Always messing around. Put on your chest wear. Actually, no. Here we go. Okay, 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 okay. Things are going. Come on, Lily. Jeez. It's messing around. So, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of dudes here. This guy has a quest, apparently. Uh, I'm liking this, um. Is that a tech chip? been developing co technology that will enable the user to swiftly dash from one point to another, but I'm lacking a few crucial components for my prototype. Could you help, or could you help by bringing me ten copper bars? I will take that quest. Alright. <gasps> oh, yeah, don't hold down too far. What's down here, anyway? Closed shop. Um, a bag of trash. Um, hi. Lauren enjoys travel. Lauren wants to see whole universe. Okay. Are you with me? Some soggy paper, some junk. All right. Let's go. Oh, the beak easy. What? Oh man, look at this place. Hey. 
Help me out, would you? Business around here hasn't been so great since all my regulars are on the run from Dreadwing and his gang of crooks. Can you go and defeat Dreadwing for me? Come speak to me when you're ready. I'll send you right to him. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll accept it. Man, your place is looking a little dead there, bud. Um, I don't know what I can do to help. I guess, well, I guess I have to defeat Dreadwing. That's how I can help, right? Uh, no. I'm not ready for that. I have a broken sword. Uh, I just ran around in my underwear. It's, it's been a good day. <laughs> well, hey, I got off that planet, so... Oh no, don't... Why are all these people chasing me? Alright. I need 20 Urkius crystals from, uh... Some... The mining facility, I think. Alright, um, so yeah, we have to go to the Urchius mining facility, uh, become space worthy. Oh man, look at all these. I need, what, 10, 10 copper bars? Okay, so we got things to do. Uh, can I beam to my ship? Alright. Let's go to the ship. Hello, kitty cat. Um,. I don't really have anything for you. I guess you can eat. Um. Nah, I guess you can't eat. Okay, um, so we need some crafting. We need to craft some things. Let's make a... Did I build the foraging table? That's what I did, right? Okay. So I need a primitive furnace. And we're going to build... Oh, oh, wait. Did it craft? I don't think it did. Nope, okay. Gotta wait for it. So yeah, we'll build a primitive furnace. We'll also build a wooden workbench, since we can. Uh, the spinning wheel is going to require more timber, so I think we can do that. Let's uh, craft some timber. Like, gosh, I don't know. It makes, it makes, what, five at a time, and I have how many? 62 logs, so yeah, we'll just do that. 100 timber. Okay, and then I need a spinning wheel. I'll just craft all these right now. Except for the anvil. I need to uh, get our furnace up and running. Okay, so um, let's plop down our furnace. Let's uh, get some bars going on here. What do I need for this? Just the ore. Okay, so no coal for this. Tungsten, that's a new one, isn't it? I thought there was just silver. That's pretty cool. Okay, so um, we need 10 copper bars. I say we just do them all, though. Ah, there we go. Gold bars. Just trying to make sure these are all just single ore. Uh, well, single ore recipes, I mean. Got 44 iron. I really, really like this crafting method. It's not just instant, and that's cool. Okay, um, I didn't pick any of that up. So now I think I can craft the anvil. Uh, use to produce armor and weapons from fabric and ores. So yeah, this is going to be essential. Let's throw down an anvil. Oh man, that's way bigger than I thought it would be. Okay, um... Hmm. That's where this comes in handy, right? Go right here. We'll just bring it across right there. There we go. I know it looks kind of junky, guys, but bear with me here, okay? We're limited on space for now. Okay, um, let's do the spinning wheel. Let's do the wooden workbench. And the anvil. And why not? We'll do a tomb. Put it over here, though. Cool. Okay, um, anvil. What can I make? I can make an iron broadsword. Or a short sword. I think that's a one-hander. Yeah. And this is the two-hander, and it's got rising slash. Um, hmm. It's a lot stronger, but it's slower. 
Can I make a shield yet? No, I need string, which I use here. Woven fabric, string, cotton wool. Oh man, there's so much more stuff to do here. Uh, yeah, I can make clothes. I can make dyes. I say we make a couple string. Okay, cool. Now let's come over to the anvil. I want a shield. If I'm gonna go, well, should I should I go one hander or two hander? Ah, uh, hmm. It's gonna be tough. I need cotton wool and woven fabric. Oh my gosh, this is so so much more than I could have asked for. I can't do the scavengers. I gotta do scouters. So I need woven fabric. I need five, six, seven. Seven and five is twelve, so I need twelve, right? Twelve woven fabric. How many can I make? Three. Okay. Uh, you know what? Right now, though, let's just make a broadsword. Let's just make a broadsword. I think that's a good replacement. Uh, let's see what we got. So we got 9.5 damage per swing, rate of fire 1.2, and ra rising slash. So 9.5 is a jump up from 6. It's a little slower. It doesn't have spinny. That's okay. I think we'll be okay with that. What do you guys think? Okay, cool. Let's go in here. Let's throw in the broken one. Um, I'm going to throw these in there too, because I love being a protector. But the protectors are gone. I'll save the uniform though. Just for uh, special occasions when no one's looking. That's better. Ooh, I dig it. I need some food. Uh, do I have... I have a campfire. I just need to place it. Yes, yes. It's okay. I'm going to boil some rice up. And some steak. Okay, 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 okay. Just, just calm down. I want to try and save the canned food for when I'm really in a pinch. Let's pick up the campfire too. Okay, um, I say we beam down again. And we have to get some sort of farm going or something. Should I do it here? I don't think so. I need to get my ship running. Um, ho 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 buddy. Guess what? Boom! Oh man, just throwing you around. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I need to be careful. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, maybe I should make a temporary farm here. Should get some dirt down and... I need to make a hoe, too. What do I have for this? Can I... I have two. Two modules. Which I can't do anything with yet. That's alright, I guess. Okay, so we'll clear out some of this. Get some dirt down. Um, I'll beam up, make a hoe. And we'll start uh, seeing if we can get to doing a little farming. Get some sort of food going on here, because getting pretty dire as far as food goes, and I don't want to spend too much money on it. Alright, uh, this wicker can hit the trash. Okay, um, yeah, let's beam up. Be nice to just have a little place where I can gather food real quick. Doesn't matter what kind. Yet. A hoe. Requires four copper bars. Ugh. I can always do that quest later, though. Um... Yeah, we're going to have to make a hoe and a watering can, but I need more timber. Fifty more. There we go. Wooden watering can. Gently and efficiently water your crops. Perfect. Okay, let's beam down. 
get this farm going real quick, and then, uh... Then I think we'll call it an episode, my friends. Do you. I know you're hostile, so... Boom! <laughs> that is too cool. Okay, um... Our hoe. I see you. I see you. How many more things? I got raw poultry from that thing. That's kind of disgusting. I'm not eating it. I dare you to eat it. Okay, um... There's my hoe. I guess I could put it right here. Oh no, I have to take up the whole slot, don't I? Oh, butts. Okay, we'll do it there. And I kind of missed a few things here. I want this to all be dirt, at least. And we'll kind of level it out a little bit, too. This is going to be a temporary farm, so I'm not really... super going to make it, you know... Beautiful. Uh, this is just until we can find a home planet, which I do plan on starting a colony in this playthrough, believe it or not, guys. <laughs> I guess I kind of did last time, but... Or last time I played it, anyway. I don't know if I showed you guys that, though. It's been so long since I played. Okay, where's my blocks? I need to get some dirt up in here somewhere. It takes up two slots. That's such a bummer. Fine, we'll do it the muley way, where I don't even put it in my inventory. Boom. Okay. Here we got this. Gotta start hoeing the ground. That should be good enough for now. Let's go here. Let's grab some seeds. Uh, cocoa pod, I can't use that. I need cocoa seeds. I think I'm just gonna plant everything I can right now. Okay, um, we got a potato seed, we have a bone bow seed, which I can't really, oh no, that's a bone bow. I have pearl peeds, pearl pea seeds. Now we're just going to plant everything and water it, and hope we get, ah, uh, rice is so good. I'll tell you why rice is good, because it plants so close to itself. Okay, um, the watering can. I have to sprinkle... Sprinkle some water around. There we go. Oh man, look at this. Look at this, guys. Isn't it beautiful? My garden is flourishing. Look at this. So good. I just need to wait for food. But I don't think I'm going to wait. Uh, we have more important things to do. Like finding uh, more food that I can eat. And getting this pod chest that I didn't seem to see last time. And ending this episode so you guys get one tomorrow. Because, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to do... I, well, and I gotta record uh, some Tria and some other stuff. Because, yeah, I'm definitely in a juggling game right now with Let's Plays. I want to make everybody happy. Ooh, what? A spear. It has barrier? Oh, man. Uh, I haven't played with the spears much. What? What is that? Does this have a combo? No. No combo, but it has shocky electricity thing. That is the technical term. Oh, I love it. And I did find a module. I think... Well... Should I get it so I can gather liquids? It seems like it's a good thing to do. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do. I do need to get to that mining facility, but I need some armor. Uh, and I also need food. And I need some plant fiber. Holy moly. This episode's going on, because I am just in love with this game right now, guys. Okay, I'm gonna end it. Uh, you, be nice. Don't come over here, I got shocky electric. Like I said, the technical term. Ah, you can't make it. That's right, buddy. <gasps> I love this weapon. Oh my god, this weapon is so cool. It's the best weapon in the game, guys. Do that. 
Oh my gosh. It's kind of slow, but I dig it a ton. I like that you can just, like, paint things. <clears throat> okay, let's try this. Really special attack. Boom. Oh no. Boom. I, uh, I can't really... Dang it, I was gonna make a smiley face, but I guess my skills aren't up enough. I should, however, <laughs> be putting this somewhere else accessible, right? Uh, do we need the flashlight? I kind of do, but I have torches, so I'm not really super worried about it. We could just paint this guy. There you go. He doesn't seem very happy about it. Poor guy. He was passive, too. I'm a butt. Okay, my friends. Um, Yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I am playing it. Uh, watching it as much as I'm playing it. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's ah, oh, there's a rice seed. Gosh, this is so cool. Why is there so much stew? That guy's pretty strong. Should I kill him? I should kill him. Huh? Kill everything, Muley. That's the rule. You know the rule. If it moves, kill it. It's kind of the starbound rule. Alright guys, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!